So guys, we are in Daisy Land again, and um, I'm on a different server this time, but the other one is down for some reason. Uh, I basically just camped out here, which is, some of you are probably wondering why my equipment, my um, my clothes have changed. I think it's just a random glitch when that happens. I don't know, I think it is just a random glitch. Because there's about ten different, I've sometimes picked up gear, just like a, an empty tin can or something, and, and my character's literally changed colour. So if it changes colour, I'm not editing this, it's uh, it's just part of the game, and obviously don't worry if it changes. Sometimes it's really confusing actually if you play with a teammate, and then he changes colour and you're like, is that you? Um, oh, is that a tent? Wow, fuck me, you found a tent straight off. Okay, got to be quite cautious here because... Um, with tents come players. If you wonder where I got all this DMR and stuff from, you can see all this if you haven't seen it already. Oh my goodness, that pig just scared the living crap out of me. I thought I was a player. <sighs> oh, I just heard a gunshot from across there somewhere. Anyway, fuck it. Let's let's go around the trees. Oh, honestly, Babe or whatever his name is, you. you I'm gonna live like five years shorter now because of that. Obviously, a sniper rifle isn't exactly the best for taking people out. But as I, as I was saying, you can find out um, how I got all this equipment and stuff uh, if you visit my channel. There's a the last video is called Sniper Killer. I'm just gonna check the gear on this. I don't think there'll be anything. I have a sneaking suspicion that sometimes servers just randomly spawn in tents. I may be wrong. Now, for some of you are probably thinking, um, where exactly am I? Um, where where am I going to? I'm, I'm hoping that a map overlay is going to run right now, even though I'm running through this forest. I'm going across there, and then I'm, I'm going to finally go across all the way to um, Cherna, which is the other big city. And I'm hoping, since I've got some... Um, wow, that's bright. Some night vision goggles off one of those snipers I killed, that I should be able to sneak in at night. Because if I just stop down here, I can show you. Okay. Okay, um... Basically, I've only got one morphine auto injector, which is for broken legs. And I'm really not happy going north when I've got, when I haven't got more than that. Just to show you my backpack as well. I've got quite, I've got enough blood bags and things. I've got enough um, revolver rounds and such, so I should be fine in that respect. Um, but I am a little bit worried about the lack of morphine I've got, so I'm hoping um, if I make my way over to Cherno then I should be able to I should be able to get some because there's two hospitals there and one's a military hospital which the zombies have attacked and, and pretty much killed everybody in oh fuck me oh my goodness I found another camp let's be very careful around here I do not Right, um, three tents, that is not a coincidence, and the server's definitely not spawned these in. Usually when there's that kind of um, weapon icon, it's not worth checking tents, because um, it's not worth checking at least loot piles, because it means there's nothing that's useful in there, but sometimes, if you've got a gun in your primary slot, then um, there's nothing in that one either. Then there's a weapon in there without any ammo, which you might want to pick up, like... Um, that's kind of this kind of symbol appears when there's a weapon with no ammo, but it'd be a different symbol if um I don't even know how they managed to plant this here. You meant to have a maybe they are server spawned in. But it's a d it's like a, a weapon with two circular things on if it's um uh if it's actually got if it's a weapon with ammo that's in the in the tent. Now you think it's probably risky running on these guys with um a sniper, and it perhaps is, but you know what, fuck it. Uh, another quick tip, don't run over these rocks here, they break your leg. Okay, so, we are king of the hill at the moment. I'm not going to go down onto those rocks, obviously. Um, king of the hill, as you, you will have seen, this is at the top of that part of the hill, um, which I'm pretty sure will be shown in the map overlay. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look with my binoculars down here. Okay. Now, a lot of people wondered about me saying there were zombies. Now, I know there's nobody in these buildings because no zombies have spawned on them. 
And there's another two buildings there, but they're not showing because the render distance is not far enough when there's fog. And Electro was back down this way. This is where we spawned in. I spawned in on the coast right back down there. I'd always recommend coming up over this hill rather than down the middle. I was going to scout around this tree line and go, but um, then I noticed that there were some aggroing zombies down near this barn, and I believe, because that barn is a long way away away, um, it's too far for, I don't know what the distance is on that, let me just range it. Okay, so it's about 300 meters, and there, there he is, he's got a shotgun, now he's got a Lee Enfield. Um, if you're wondering how I range this, I'm just going to watch where this player goes. If he looks like he's running towards me, I may have to kill him. Um, but just to range the shot. Okay, um, that's four millidots high, uh, which means center scope, the middle crosshair, uh, will hit on target at this kind of distance. So... Let's see. Send a scope. Should I take the shot? Pretty sure I can kill this guy from here. He's got a little aggro and zombie over him. See, there's going to be a debate in the comments right now. Should I or should I not take this shot? I mean, he would. this would definitely hit him there. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. He hasn't got any loot thinking about it, which I could possibly use. I'm just going to see where he runs to. If he goes up across to the right, I'm going to have to kill him because he might come back across to me. But it looks... Because I'm planning on heading up that way. Um, but it looks like he's going the other way. Just to rearrange it. Um, two dots high, that's about 450, 500 meters. So I might need to be one millidot up now to kill him. Um... Basically, if you change your field of view, it's um, don't use any of the guides on the internet about millidots and things because um, they just won't work. Uh, you have you have really j just got to sort of try it out if you change your field of view because it does affect it. Um, and the best way is to just range on a zombie and then find out. But for me, a 95 degree field of view, um, I'll, I'll post how to put that in the comments. It looks like he just lagged out. No, he's still going. Um, I'm not going to kill him because he's going the other direction. Um, but the first each millidot down, the crosshair is at um, 400 meters. Uh, the next millidot down is 500, and that's 100 meters on each. Okay, so I'm just coming up behind the uh, the farm buildings, which are kind of slightly further north than the tower. Ideally, what I want to do is um there are all zombies down there that's a little bit worrying um ideally I want to try and get situated on the top of that tower there so I can look down into Cherno. Cherno's just on the other side of that hill as you, you probably saw from the map um I've just put a marker over on this side was that a player? that's a zombie um I'm gonna crouch down here and move across I know it's a bit slower Obviously, it would be pretty stupid to die right now. Um, and the real ben a lot of people ask me why I crouch move. Um, when you crouch move, it doesn't make you um, you run out of breath. In fact, let me just grab a drink. And you can see there on the bottom right, um, my uh, my water's gone low. So I just need to uh, get a drink out of my backpack. And I can put that back in my backpack. Um, the reason, uh, when you crouch, uh, as you can see there, the crosshair, I don't know if you can see that or not, well, you're probably there when it's against the tree, uh, the sides of the crosshair move outwards, and the, the dot in the, the, the middle is basically where it's going to hit. Um, the bits on the side mean how accurate to that dot it's going to be. So if you're running, it's going to be huge afterwards. Like, the, the two sidebar bits are going to be really far away from that little dot. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on YouTube, but that's the best I can explain it. Um, just ranging these zombies, these might be because of me. They might have spawned in because of me. Um, although they are quite a long way away from the buildings. Uh, generally zombies start the buildings and then move out. But when you crouch, as I was saying, it, um, 
it doesn't make you pant, so when I look down the sides, it's going to be perfectly accurate straight away. Which is obviously necessary if I'm going to suddenly come up above somebody. That's just my um, my GPS marker over there. I wanted to get around into this area. I don't have to follow it exactly there. Um, but this is a, a really good loot spot, actually. Um, I don't know if you noted where it was on the map or not, but uh, it really is a fantastic loot spot, this. Ah, there's the player. There's the player. Now, I'm going to have to kill this player. I think. Um, because it's got its. He or she has got a, a, a high powered rifle. And unfortunately, they're where, they're where I am. So, sorry about that, whoever you were I just killed. Um, but. I can't take that kind of risk on you. So, apologies for that. Now, the good news is. The good news is, I'm just switching to my secondary here. That guy had an AKM, which means if his body's still there, which it is, if I hide out in this bush, I can then switch over my kit. Unless that zombie's just aggroed me. I'm just going to open my bag. I basically need 10 free slots, and I've got 5 free there. So now I've got 10 free slots, and hopefully the ammo will go across into here. I really hope that guy hasn't logged. If he logs out, his body's going to have disappeared. Oh no, he's still there. Zombies eating him. If the graphics are looking a bit worse today, it's because I was playing in bright sunlight before. And uh, obviously I'm not anymore. Well, I saved your corpse from getting mauled, buddy. And if this is The Walking Dead, you're going to wake up as a zombie soon, because apparently everybody's a zombie. Oh boy, that's sporty for some people. And it looks like we got everything off this guy. Let's see who he was. And if he's watching my video, he's going to be proper pissed. Sorry, Daycal. Sorry, Daycal. But I can't take the risk on a guy with a high powered well, assault rifle. A lot of people don't even know that you can climb this. But I think it is one of the best sniper spots. Unfortunately, you can't like. Oh, and here's another tip actually. Um, when you get up here, it says climb ladder up, which lets you continue going up. When you, whenever you get to a platform and you think you can't get up the ladder, just roll your mouse wheel, like here, a bit higher, and climb ladder up, and then you won't get off at that platform. Well, it'll look like you do, um, but you'll go all the way up. Yeah. I hope that wasn't a little Bambi I killed there. But then again, I wouldn't be able to come up here safely if he was down there. Given that um, the AKM is the one assault rifle with actual ranging on it, so... It's just pretty dangerous. Sometimes when you climb a ladder, this happens as well. You can see my gun's being held down. If you just press the fire button, then it comes back up. You can actually um, lower your gun like that. I forget what key it is. I think it's double tap control. But uh, that's what it is. Um, and if you want to lean, that's the E and Q keys, and I'm just double tapping E here so that I can uh, actually see what's down in the town. There are the medical huts, down there. Um, I will probably be infiltrating those at night. Now I've got an AKM at least. Um, although I will have to obviously log out and then log back in. Um, or there's a hospital on that side, so I might go into that as well. Don't think that's a proper car. Nope. I don't think there's a car spawn around here actually. Um, I actually don't see any zombies in town, but I think waiting till night is probably still the best option here. People tend to hang on top of these buildings, and uh, they like being up on that bit there as well. I don't know if you just saw that, but there's a player down near the hospital. So I'm just going to watch out for him and see roughly where he is. So look, I need to range a shot, basically. So there he is. He's in front of the building. He's going to come up into this window soon. Um, so, I'm not, probably not going to shoot this guy because, there you go, you see he's going up. Probably not going to shoot this guy because um, he's not posing a threat to me. So, after I got down from the tower, I saw two guys running up from Cherno. Um, but I had planned on stopping recording them until night time, so uh, I haven't got the footage of me flanking them. Um, and I got disconnected part way, but it seems, because I've just seen him, hopefully, I don't know where he is. 
Now oh, there, there's one. And where is there? It is. Okay, okay. But I managed to get around and flank these guys. I think I'll have a map in the video showing it. But I'm going to see if I can hold them up, uh, stick them up, and get them to drop the weapons. Hopefully they'll listen. Oh my god! Fucking gun glitch. Hey guys, stop moving. Stop moving. Do not turn towards the voice or I'll shoot you. Fucking. God damn, you stupid son of a bitch. Never turn towards a player. Never turn towards a player that snuck up on you. There's no point running, son. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I got him. I got him. Man, you guys are stupid! I don't want to hurt you! Why? You could have survived that. You could have survived that. You should have I know you can still hear me. I know you can still hear me in the death voice. Man, you should not have done that. Fuck me. Wow. What a pity. Gotta make... Make sure these guys are dead. Don't want any nasty surprises. It seems they were looting the guy I killed just then as well. God. Damn. So guys, I've just come out of the tree line, um, above the hills of, uh, of Cherno, as you saw there. Having spent the afternoon, it is night time now, it is actually pitch black. I spent the afternoon, you know, re relaxing in the hills of Chernus, reflecting on those, those, those poor slaughtered Bambis. Oh my god, Bambi zombie, Bambi zombie got me. I'm gonna have to fuck it and just run in now. Probably not the stealthiest infiltration you've ever seen, but you know, to help me reflect this afternoon, I, I may have had a, a couple of a couple of San Miguel's. Probably probably not conducive to a good score, and I am in fact bleeding as well. Oh my goodness! Not a good start. Not a good start. If you want a big tip, if you ever start bleeding, just get indoors as quickly as you possibly can, and um, bandage your ass up. I've just switched my secondary there, hopefully I'll get there before this zombie goes nuts on me. Here we go, here we go. Has he just left me? Well, you're not going to get prizes for being a smart zombie, are you? Okay. I'm, I'm just going to run with this, because I've never seen zombies just stop attacking people. Maybe they think I'm a zombie. Am I that ugly? I hope I'm not that ugly. I had switched to my secondary there, even though the DMR is a really good gun. I mean, just look how close that crosshair is. 20 rounds, fast as you fire, basically. Um, but, I had switched to my secondary, because it is a lot quieter, and if I fire the DMR, all the bam all the, the, the bambies, all the zombies in the city are going to be after me. Uh, I'm just checking the top of there, because players do like to hide up there sometimes. And uh, now we can pretty much head across. I don't know how exposed I am here. Really exposed. This is a 36 man server as well, so I'm figuring there's going to be a lot of players in this. And I tell you what, actually, I don't know if I covered this already in the video, but uh, if this if this commentary isn't particularly uh, compre comprehend, that's not the word for it. If it is, if my thoughts are not collected, I'm blaming the San Miguel. I'm just blaming. It's not even a good tasting beer that. It's it's like malt loaf. I don't know if you guys have ever have heard of malt loaf. But it's it's like that in the sense that the more you drink it, the worse it tastes. Like it it tastes proper bad after you've had a, an afternoon's worth of it. Uh, but back to my previous thought, the DMR people was people were saying, you know, why didn't you pick up the SVD camo off that other sniper in the first episode? And I absolutely love the DMR. I, I swear it's the best sniper in the game. Right, you can um, it's it's the only sniper where you can actually use it in conjunction with uh, night vision goggles. Like every other one, if I use the SVD here, um, my night vision goggles would have to be taken off. And it's got a zoom on it. And the ammo is way, way, way more common than the SVD camo ammo. <laughs> that rhymed. Oh my goodness, I need to compose myself. Just checking that hill over there. That hill? That clock tower over there. 
People do like to hang up there sometimes. I'm actually going to go to the top of that and just check up there. Some people wondered why I was looking around. I'm I'm uh, in the comments. I'm literally just doing that to check if there's enemies. I'm not actually looking at anything specific. Um, but we've reached the medical tents. Um, a lot of people don't know this. Um, oh my goodness, another GPS! How lucky can a fella be? Okay. Um, you're going to have to bear with me whilst my, my slow drunk brain thinks how to transfer this stuff across. Okay. Why am I trying to put it in my backpack? That's the first question. Because I want to put the GPS in my... I've, I've, I figured that out. I figured that out. So I've got a spare GPS now. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that Frankie would have two GPSs? I'm like the luckiest... I'm like the luckiest little fella ever. Um... But yeah, I absolutely love the DMR. Fast as you can fire as well. Oh, have I said that already? I'm feeling this uh, country is going to be pretty incomprehensible by the time it ends. Ah, uh, but uh, that's how I roll. That is how I roll. I should have really sorted out my backpack as well. I have not done much this afternoon. I've just been sitting around watching zombies run after bambies. Ah, uh, this is what we want. See that circ it's that circle symbol. Um, if you remember up on the hill, I said there was a kind of circle symbol. That means this this loot is absolutely loaded. Now, I'm going to climb this tower. A bit risky sometimes. Doing this. And my uh, spare GPS is not going to help me out with that. If you if you just look across there, I can't really turn my camera because whilst you're climbing this, is kind of stuck to this kind of rotation. Uh, but if you just look across there, um, at the uh, where those two trees are, just almost directly to the left, uh, that's another hospital, believe it or not. Um, so if you don't find anything in these medical tents, then just head straight across there. I wonder if I can see any torches or anything. I wouldn't really go if there aren't any people around here. Oh, there's a... Um... Something across there. As you can see, I can use this with the night vision goggles on. Always worth checking the hill as well. Just because people with an eye vision goggles tend to hang out in there sometimes. What's that over there? I wonder, is that a player? If it is... No, it's a pig. I may very well go and kill him later, because I haven't got any meat. But I'm heading heading back out where I came from now. Fine, probably best to sprint across this little bit here. Uh, now, in the next episode, I want to to go back up to the uh, the northwest airfield. I want to head on up there again, uh, see what's going on. But I don't fancy running because I just crouched down by here. Bring my map up. Um, for those of you, ooh, ooh, where's this map at? Okay, um, I'm here, and the northwest airfield is, if I even mark just this end of the northwest airfield. It is, oh, where that label thing, oh, there it is. It is uh, seven kilometers away. So if anybody's got a car, <laughs> then I would much appreciate a lift up and across there. Um, so if you have got a car, especially if you're in the EU server as well, where you've got the car, and you fancy driving down and picking me up from near Chernerus, Chernerus, that's the map, from near Cherno, uh, then do, do tell me in the comments to this video, or in a private message, Oh shit, another player. Okay, I'm going to kill this one because he's running exactly where I am. I think I got him. Can't take that risk. Oh, the fucker disconnected. Oh, man. Did I get a murder? What the hell is wrong with my murder count? It literally switches every time I join a freaking server. He disconnected! I think I got him, though. I think I got him. God, what a guy. He couldn't even see anything. Man. Oh, well. He was heading this way, so I don't feel too bad about that. 
I apologise to whoever it was. In fact, I have no sympathy for you. You disconnected. What the hell, man? What the hell? Um, but as I was saying, if you can get a car down to Cherno, or just on the streets above Cherno, you can kind of see where I'm heading now, um, then I really would appreciate that, so do do kind of... If you can help me out, um, then I will, you know, make that into episode 3, heading up to the Northworth Airfield. I do plan on stopping, showing people how to fill up with petrol, and making a little campfire, perhaps in the dark, and also stopping at Green Mountain. So if you're happy to make those stops and, and search, then, then do tell me. Um, on that note, guys, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna head on up here, and I'll, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter. <laughs>